These are some of the residents of Children's Home Number 59, swinging their way through a costume performance for visitors to this orphanage. Most of the kids who live here are so-called social orphans, children who've been separated from their parents to protect them from threats like parental alcoholism, child abuse, and neglect. Most of them have a traumatic experience in their life. There are more than 700,000 children living in state institutions like this across Russia. The United Nations says more than 80% of them have at least one living parent. Administrators here avoid telling the youngest kids that they've been abandoned or that their parents are in prison. Instead, children are told their mothers and fathers are away on business trips. This is my little friend, Maxim. He's three years old, and he stands a, a better chance than almost any other child at this orphanage of getting adopted. The simple reason being he's one of the youngest kids here. The oldest go up to the age of 18. Whoops. And the administrators here say uh, that one of the problems is that Russian families are not really interested in adopting children that aren't infants. You know, Russians are usually looking for, for babies, uh, um, Russian looking, I mean, blondes uh, with the blue eyes and healthy. For some reason, international adoption agencies don't come to children's home number 59. And due to the bad publicity from the latest U.S.-Russian adoption scandal, psychologist Daria Tatarinka fears foreign adoptions across the country may slow to a halt. And, and you think international adoption is a good idea for some for of the older sure. kids? For sure, for sure. And, uh, you know, I'm so angry for this dialect uh, on television that uh, we should abandon this thing. Because uh, Americans and uh, Europeans uh, take the children of all ages with different diseases, as I said. And um, they, not like our, our Russians. The Russian government offers older orphans free housing if they reach the age of 18 without finding a foster home. As for the younger kids, I'm going to be taken to a home soon, this little boy tells me, where I can wear my costume and dance. It is a child's heartfelt dream, but one that probably will not come true. There have only been four successful adoptions from children's home number 59 in the last 10 years. Ivan Watson, CNN, Moscow.